Bruce here today. I'm here going to review Mortal Shell. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you're new and like the video and enjoy it. So let's get started. So Mortal Shell, if you don't know, is a open world RPG game, very similar to Dark Souls. And give you context, I played the whole game and beat it at least once. And I want to tell you what I think about it, all the good stuff about it, and some negative stuff. And then I'll have like a score of what I think out of 10. So this game has a new twist to the Soulsborne genre with having hardening to the game and you can't block in this game. Instead you have hardening which has a cooldown cool down every time you use it. So it's really cool mechanic and also this game keep in mind is made by a small team who are all uh, Souls fans and really enjoy those games and so they were inspired to make this game and also some really cool stuff about this game you don't put in stats into characters instead there's shells which there's a standard model one there's a beefy one there's a magic or in this game it's called resolve and there's also the medium dude those are the shells and you also can do no shell and that's like an achievement you can get in the game which is kind of cool also uh, the character designs in this game is pretty cool very unique um, very good graphics for a small team um, it is a smaller map but it, it's only thirty dollars so therefore it's obviously going to be a smaller game and there's like seven bosses that's not including the hardens uh, the hardens well counting those it would be like 10 in total of bosses obviously including the final boss but each one is very unique they all have their own sort of different move sets that make them more unique than the other and I complain about the like bosses is that kind of easy to beat besides like the last one is was like the hardest for me but the very first one was harder because it was like your my first time trying to learn the mechanics of hardening and all of that stuff and I never parry in this game you can parry in this game and you every time you parry you can get back health but that's only if your resolve bar is filled so that's when you can do that but if it's not filled then it fills a resolve bar so then you can use it to gain health and it's kind of similar to Bloodborne in that sense and like I talked about the bosses seem kind of easy um, but some of them definitely gave me a hurt top. I, if I gave a score out of 10 I would probably give it a 9 out of 10 because it's made by a small team but it has very good graphics that enemies in this game is very unique and also in this game there's a fog that happens whenever you take the gland which makes it harder but it's kind of another twist in the game that when you first encounter it it's very cool but that is my review of mortal shell and if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell to be notified for another more shell video on the channel and like the video and enjoy it i'll see you in the next video peace